Well, this is Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I just wanted to go over one of the new things that Google rolled out, which is the use of the appointment scheduler. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over how you guys can set that up because it doesn't come right away. You actually have to uh, ask for it. So the old appointment slots is what Google used to use. Um, and so when you used it, it used to look like this, which is very outdated, doesn't look very great, but still functional and people could add their own schedule in and book appointments with you. Their new schedule is much nicer looking. All right, so what you want to do to set that up is you're going to come over here to, to the top right, click on settings, scroll down to appointment schedules. All right, and you can see here, create appointment schedules instead of appointment slots. It's going to be replacing appointment slots anyway, um, so it will eventually come over to this, but in order to set it up initially, this is what you have to do. So you click that box, you come back to settings. If you go into the top left again, and you look, now it says appointment schedule. When you click on that, you can see now it brings up a new interface and it's much nicer. So I am a physical therapist. If we type in physical therapy schedule, max right now you can see that um that will be the uh title for this whole section you come down to appointment duration you can put down however long you want for me i'm a mobile therapist i always give an hour for my uh, patients if i'm working you know nine to five we can do that if i'm doing usually i do 12 hour days and i do that three days a week and then I click copy to all, and you can see that now it is all uh, copied, okay? From here, uh, you can do um, um, other different things. Right? So you can go 60 days out. If you want to decrease that to just be 30 days out, then you just type in 30, and then that way your patients can schedule out for a month. You can do any, any number that you want. Um, you can also change the uh, time before the appointment starts and when it can be booked. Right. And then you can adjust your availability to, you know, if you already know that you're going to go on vacation during certain days, then you can do that. The other thing that's important for me as a mobile therapist is that I need to have a buffer time in between each of my appointments. So I click on that and click 30 minutes or however long I want to put uh, to clean up and get to the next patient. Usually I do that. Um, you can also, the nice thing is you can limit it to a certain amount per day, right? So as long as somebody schedules, um, it will take away uh, the appointment slots after four things have been scheduled. So if you want to limit yourself and how much you're working per day, you can do that as well. Um, but it's pretty nice. After you click next, you can add a description, location uh, of conference. Um, you can do in-person, video conference. So if you're doing telehealth, you can select all this stuff and it will be there. The other thing that is good to do is that when they're... Uh, patients are booking you require first name last name email address and you can add more things so if you want a phone number you can click it and it's already a selected item so you can add that and then the other thing that's important for me is address right because i need that in order to make it to my patient's house um, but you can see that they have phone number and custom item so we'll do that add item and now you'll see that you can also change email reminders. Um, it's nice to get an email reminder a day ahead. Um, and you can also do uh, add a reminder to do 10 minutes ahead or an hour before. I always like to have my patients, you know, get reminders to confirm that I'm going to be seeing them the next day and then also remind them, you know, about an hour before that I'm going to be there. Um, so that's how I would set this up. Um, you can change and add your photo and everything else in the admin console or into the Google account settings if you want to do that so they make sure that they're getting the right therapist. But you do that, and now if we click on open booking page, you can see it's much nicer looking than the other one. If we went to Friday, um, we'll do an example. So I'm going to click on it. You can see that my first name's already put in, last name. We'll change and we'll do my other email. Okay. Since it's required, 978-496-217 is my business phone. Road, Westford, Mass is my business address. 
All right, I click book, and there you go. Now it's confirmed, so an email has been sent to that. I just had my phone ring twice because I got an email to both emails. Um, but that's how you would do it, and that's what it looks like. So uh, let me know what you think. I like this a lot, and especially it's included in your uh, Google Workspace. It's nice, it's simple, and it's clean looking. Um, but you can also see where I booked is now not available, and it also took away one of the slots at the end of the day. So let me know what you think. Um, pretty excited about using it. I want to hear all your opinions. Thanks so much.